Good evening, everybody, and welcome. And thanks very much for joining us for this novenario of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Blessed Mother loves you very, very much. In this world where so many people reject Jesus and ignore Jesus' presence in the world, she is so grateful to you because you love Jesus and you are doing the best you can to get close to him and to follow him in your life. She will actually teach you more and more how to love Jesus. Just um, talk to her, ask her, please, Blessed Mother, help me to love Jesus more. Nobody loves him like she does, and she will help you to love him. She will also teach you how to be a disciple of Jesus. She was his best disciple ever, and she will teach you how to be his disciple. And she will also teach you how to find Jesus and to be transformed by Jesus in the Word of God. One time when, when Jesus was teaching, we read this here in Luke 11, 27, Jesus was teaching and somebody said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that fed you. And Jesus said, No, rather, blessed are those who hear the word of God and are put into practice. Imagine that. Jesus was saying nothing disrespectful to his mother, whom he loved with a love so profound beyond all understanding. But Jesus wanted to say to you and to me something that's a blessing for us, that we can be as close to Jesus as his own mother. If we are people who hear the word of God and are put into practice. And Mary can teach us how to love Jesus, the word of God. In the Gospel of John, in his prologue, John says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and everything came to be through him. And what came to be through him was was life, and this life was light for the world. And the light came into the world, and the darkness did not overcome it. And who received the word, and the word was made flesh in her, was Mary. So she was the one who loved the word of God from the very beginning. She was the first one to love him, and she loves him more than anybody else in the whole world. And uh, we see that Mary, when Jesus began his ministry at the wedding feast of Cana in, in John's Gospel, Mary said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. So Mary will teach us also how to begin and renew our ministry by putting ourselves completely open to doing what Jesus tells us. In the Gospel of John also, John, uh, Jesus says in chapter 14, whoever loves me will keep my word and my Father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Jesus, Jesus will come and make your his home with you if you love the word of God. So each one, Pope Francis said this, each one should have a scripture, a Bible. Read the word of God, reflect on it, talk about it with others and your family, your friends, and put into practice. You'll see as you do that, each day you'll get closer and closer to Jesus and you will feel his presence with you in your life, guiding you and helping you. So this evening is part of the Novenario of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Uh, we want to suggest to you to get, get the Gospel for next Sunday, uh, read it, have somebody in the family read it, um, talk about it, how does it connect with your life, Ask Mary to guide you to understand it. She will help, help you 
to understand it. And then also um, think of ways in which you can put it into practice in your life. Or think of something you'll be do different because you've read the Word of God. If you want to see how the process of the Gospel Reflection works, go on to the website of the Archdiocese to the St. Gabriel region. If you, um, or if you want to go on to another site which is called Discipleship 21, and you'll find there the Gospel for next Sunday and that nice process that you can use to begin to let the Word of God go into your heart and become present in your family and become present more and more in your life. As you read the Word of God, as you let yourself be guided by the Word of God, Jesus himself will manifest himself more and more in you and your family, and you will see the beautiful new life that he will give you. Amen.